Hi, I'm Kat Burton. I am super excited to be a sponsor and judge of the Taken By Me photography competition. The competition is being run by Pitlochry Festival Theatre with the support of the Perth and Kinross Countryside Trust. For this competition, there are five categories that you can enter. The Young People category is sponsored by myself and as a prize for that I am offering a photography workshop anywhere in Perthshire. For this category you can enter photographs from any of the four other categories so you've got a wide variety of things that you can submit for this. The Trees of the Tay category focuses on the beautiful trees along the River Tay in its vicinity. Now Perthshire is known as big tree country and for good reason. We have beautiful woodlands such as this, we have amazing heritage trees and large trees such as the Burnham Oak, which has been around for a very long time. We have the beautiful trees along the riverside, but also heading up into the hills around the Tay, there are amazing forests and views. You're welcome to photograph an entire forest, a small detail on a tree, or maybe just a lone tree on its own. Whatever you like, as long as it is a lovely tree around the River Tay. For the architecture of the Tay category, we are looking for photographs that show castles, ruins, follies, towers, modern buildings. Maybe it's a holiday lodge, maybe it's a little cabin with a little fishing jetty coming out of it. It could be anything you like as long as it's a man-made structure along the River Tay. Of course, you could start at Loch Tay in Kenmore, maybe the beautiful church there or the amazing Cranog. There are castles all the way along the River Tay, heading all the way down to Dunkeld, where we have the beautiful cathedral, the bridges. Maybe a little bit further down you could go to Perth and there is the beautiful city centre, the riverside, the parks there and some amazing bridges. And don't forget there's the beautiful Kinnell Hill Tower, a well photographed viewpoint. And what we're really looking for is something new and exciting, a fresh take on these very well photographed places. For the wildlife of the Tay category, we'd like you to show us the very best of wildlife along the River Tay and its vicinity. This could be anything from macro shots of beasties and bugs, think caterpillars, butterflies, bumblebees, those kind of things. It could be rodents such as mice that you might see. What about the bats that we often see in those lovely blue hours as we head into evening? And don't forget there's your common birds. It could be your ducks, your geese, your swans, or your blackbirds, your blue tits, your seagulls, the common birds you might just see along the riverside anywhere. And then of course in Perthshire we have an amazing assortment of exciting wildlife such as the grey seals, there are the leaping salmon, there are otters, there are beavers, there are so many wonderful things that you can see all along the Tay. And we're looking for you to show us the very best that the Tay has to offer. The final category is the hidden details of the Tay category. Now for this one we're looking for those small and elusive things that people might not notice. We're thinking any statues, any small macro details, details in plants, details in textures on the floor, a small acorn or some fungi. Maybe it's a little statue carved into wood that people might just walk past. It could be reflections in the river itself, small details of texture in the rocks or in buildings. Anything you like, as long as it's something that's often overlooked and is what you'd consider a hidden or special detail of the beautiful area around the River Tay. I hope this video has given you some ideas and food for thought for what you might photograph along the beautiful River Tay. The competition opened for entries at the start of October and you can submit any photograph taken between then and the end of March 2021. We are really looking forward to seeing what beautiful images you submit. Good luck and have fun.